okay in this video i am going to show you a spring boot basic authentication demo and so let's get started so this is a bare minimum uh, spring boot project there's no dependency for security so let's add that so over here i'm adding um, security and web dependencies so i am going to secure the rest api so that's why i need the web included so that's done so first we need to build uh, in order to get all the necessary uh, dependency dependencies so once it's done okay now we will start adding uh, other things so let's uh, start by adding a rest controller so i'll just add it in the same package i don't want to create a separate package at the moment because this is just a demo okay so as you can see there is two apis over here uh one is restricted one is permitted so i wanted to uh only authenticated people to uh, access this one and this one will be uh, open for public so anybody can access this without any authentication so i have created the rest controller now the next thing i need is the configurations uh, spring security configurations so let's create the class here same level as the other classes okay uh, over here i have uh, disabled the CA csrf at the moment uh, I'm not gonna go into detail on how to do it properly so I'm just disabling it now uh, and this this application will be a uh, HTTP basic authentication um, so I have uh, set this uh, API to be authenticated and this API to be permit all so uh, let's uh, uh, let's uh, test this actually yeah so we build this once okay and then we run this okay as you can see the password is given over here we'll copy this password first all right so uh, so this is the uh, client i'm using at the moment to test the rest api so the permitted url is here so let's test okay it is uh, it, there is no authentication header given and it successfully uh, get the data from the backend okay this is fine let's try this so there is no authentication given so let's see now it's giving or zero one so un unauthorized okay that's uh, correct correct so let's uh, add an uh, authentication so the default username is user the password is as we copied earlier okay now let's see okay now it works uh, uh, I, I don't like the default um, username and password generated by Spring Boot so I usually will set the default username and password in the uh, application to properties so this will be my username and password okay I'll stop and run it again with these new changes so first of all we'll try running it again check if it still authenticates okay this is correct so what I need to do is I need to change this but instead of a uh, adding an uh, authorization I will use this one the generator to generate the 
the base64 encoded username and password so basically you have to give the username and password and then this will give us give the base64 encoded username and password so I'll just copy this go here and then paste it here and then now let's see okay now it's authenticated as uh, expected so so that's about it uh, this is the bare minimum of uh, uh, base authentication in Spring Boot. Okay.